This white stuff here might look a bit like ice, but this is a layer of stone floating on water. This paper-thin stone layer is forming on the water of a peculiar hot spring when it cools down. This strange hot spring water turns insects and leaves falling into it into stone, literally. The water is a concentrated salt solution, making it extremely challenging for life to thrive in it. But this is exactly what makes it so interesting. Is there something that can withstand this hostile environment? Are there microbes or other bacteria living in it? Today I want to bring you along on a short sampling trip deep into the Japanese mountains to a very strange hot spring. Let's see what water samples we can get and let's check under the microscope if we can see something living inside this hellish water. See you in the mountain. Oh no, first of all we have to make sure <laughs> The car is closed. Okay, and now we are off to cross the river through a bridge and let's see what we are going to find. I'm being followed around by massive horse flies. <clears throat> I really hope they cannot get to me. Let's see. Oh my god, and how big these things are. Holy moly. <laughs> they are following me everywhere. There is an amazing butterfly out there. I'm not a butterfly specialist, but I'll try to get a shot of this thing. It's quite amazing. I'm taking out the macro. Let's see if we can do a swap on the, on the fly. The problem is Fuji cameras are excellent, but they don't have any dust shield. So when you switch in the field, you switch lenses in the field. It's kind of tricky. Well, for now it worked. Let's see if we can get a nice shot. There is a toad. <laughs> There is a toad in the in the water in front of me. I'll see if I can get a nice shot. The toad is just sitting in this little puddle of water with its Mute friend, just here in the road, just here in the road. Amazing. I'm being attacked by massive horse flies. Holy moly. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, and the toad is gone. Okay, so this is the entrance of the first hot spring. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a little adventure. Um, I hope there are no snakes or anything similar because I'm very, very ill-equipped. This is going to be interesting to go down here. Ah, I can hear the hot spring bubbling. And here it is. This is the first hot spring I wanted to show you. The stuff that is bubbling is CO2 and uh, the temperature here is around 34 degrees, I guess, something like this. Let's get a little closer. So let's get some sample from here as well and let's see what's inside. I'm absolutely being swarmed. It's really crazy. I don't know if this camera can render this, but it's really not fun. 
here oh, I'm going to take some general sample and trying to oh yeah it's nice and warm but it's not it's not the hottest I really love these mountain areas in Japan. It's insane. <laughs> the little problem here is that this mountain is full of bears and let's hope I'm not going to encounter one. Oopsie, poisonous snake. <laughs> and it's not happy. This is the interesting hot spring I wanted to show you. The hot spring water contains a lot of iron, CO2 and limestone. Like a lot of calcium is inside. And it immediately deposits all over the place. Like for example here, I don't know if you can see in the video, but there is a, a white layer on top of this water. here, And this is limestone, which precipitates out immediately as soon as the water temperature cools down a bit. So the water temperature here is around 50 degrees and it rapidly cools down to around 40, 42, something like this. And this is this second area here, the cooler area. If you wanna take a bath here, you can do this, but you need to be really careful. seen this it's really like ice look at this it feels like paper it's ripping in really easily I wonder what this is I mean it must be limestone and below you have still the hot water it's, it's quite quite warm still okay let's prepare for sampling See what else we can get. Maybe we can get something to float up. Oh yeah. What I'm interested in is this biofilm. There is quite some green stuff in there. Oh, oh, it's really not easy to work with all these horse flies. I've been bitten already 20, 30 times. I holy moly. Whew. This is quite something, but I think today I'm not going inside. What is also super interesting is that the runoff goes directly into a lake. Oh, there are some fish inside. Holy shit. Whoa. I'm being attacked again. See what kind of sample we can get from here. I'm taking this precipitate. Oh my god, this is insane. This material is crazy. Oh, it's really unbearable. Too many horse flies. Oh my god. Okay, sample in. Oh, I need to go. I've been bitten too many times now. It's too, it's getting too crazy here. So analyzing these samples takes a very long time. I can only give you a very short glimpse at what I could find until now. So please be patient and let me show you my finds in a separate video. We have a lot of different cyanobacteria clumped together. 
they can survive these high salinity levels and temperatures without any problems. And these tremendous amounts of CO2 bubbling into this hot spring is also the perfect food for these bacteria. They use it to make huge amounts of oxygen. The biggest surprise though is this one here. There is a rotifer in there. The problem is just, I forgot to label the videos I took. So this might be from a cooler area in the hot spring and not the hot area. So that would be less surprising, but I have to check it. I have to get back there, get more samples and label the videos correctly. The problem is also, it is extremely challenging to work with these samples. There are a lot of crystals and other sand particles inside. So it is very hard to get a flat image or to get really deep into the sample. So I'm working on this currently. I still need more time to get the samples done and ready. So please stay tuned for the microscopic marvels from this strange hot spring. It is really hard to get good microscopic shots. So I'm sorry for this cliffhanger. Please be patient. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure into the mountains and you enjoyed the weird hot spring. Anyway, I'm looking forward to welcome you very soon to another adventure. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious. See you very soon.